AI and bugs explained. So have you ever written a computer program? If you have, you probably know about bugs. A bug is just a mistake in your code. It's a problem that makes your program do something you didn't want it to do, or maybe it stops the program from running at all. Finding and fixing these bugs is called debugging, and honestly, it can be a very frustrating part of programming. Sometimes, you can spend hours just looking for one tiny mistake. It really feels like searching for a needle in a giant haystack. This process can make even experienced programmers want to pull their hair out. Now let's talk about AI. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. Think of it like a very smart computer program. You can talk to it using plain English. This is called prompting. A prompt is just a question or a command you give to the AI. For example, you could ask it, what is the capital of France? Or you could tell it, write me a short poem about a cat. The AI will read your prompt and try its best to give you a helpful answer. It has learned from a massive amount of text from the internet so it knows about many different topics, including programming. So, what happens when you combine these two ideas? You get AI-powered debugging. This is where you use an AI to help you find and fix bugs in your code. Instead of staring at your screen for hours, you can ask an AI for help. You can show it your code and the error message you are getting. The AI can then look at your code and suggest what might be wrong. It's kind of like having a super smart programming expert sitting next to you, ready to help you at any moment. This can save you a lot of time and frustration. This guide will show you exactly how to do this. We'll start with the basics. We'll look at why debugging is so hard to do by yourself. Then, we'll explore how AI can make it much, much easier. I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to write good prompts. We'll look at real code examples and see how an AI can spot the problems. You don't need to be an expert to use these tools. In fact, they're perfect for beginners who are just starting their coding journey. Let's get started. Debugging code by yourself can be very difficult. Imagine you have written hundreds of lines of code. Your program is supposed to do something simple, but it keeps crashing. You get a strange error message that you don't understand. Where do you even begin to look for the problem? The mistake could be anywhere. It might be a simple typo, like a misspelled variable name, or it could be a much more complex problem, like a mistake in the program's logic. You have to read through every single line trying to spot what's wrong. This process is slow and honestly often very boring. Your eyes start to glaze over as you read the same code again and again. You might add print statements everywhere. A print statement is a line of code that displays information on the screen. You use them to check the value of variables at different points in your program. This can help you track down where things start to go wrong. AI tools can completely change how you approach debugging. Think of the AI as a patient and knowledgeable assistant. It never gets tired or frustrated. It can look at your code with fresh eyes, even if you've been staring at it for hours. The most immediate benefit is speed. An AI can analyze hundreds of lines of code in just a few seconds. It can spot common mistakes, typos, syntax errors almost instantly. What might have taken you an hour of careful reading, the AI can often do in the time it takes to blink. One of the best things about using AI is that it can explain things to you. When an AI finds a bug, it doesn't just fix it and move on. You can ask it to explain why it was a bug. It can tell you what the error message means in simple terms. It can explain the programming concept you misunderstood. This turns a frustrating debugging session into a valuable learning opportunity. You're not just fixing a single problem. You're learning how to avoid that same problem in the future. It's like having a personal tutor available 24-7. So how do you actually use an AI to debug your code? It all comes down to writing a good prompt. A prompt is your instruction to the AI. The better your instruction, the better the AI's answer will be. Think of it like asking a friend for help. You wouldn't just say, it's broken. You would give them details. The same is true for an AI. The first step is to clearly state your problem. Start your prompt by saying something like, I'm a beginner programmer and I need help with my Python code. This helps the AI understand your skill level. The second step is to provide all the necessary context. This is the most important part. You need to give the AI your code. Copy and paste the entire function or block of code that is causing the problem. Don't just send a single line. 
The AI needs to see the code in its context to understand what's happening. After you paste the code, you must also provide the exact error message you are seeing. Copy and paste the full error message. This message contains vital clues that the AI can use to diagnose the problem much more quickly. The third step is to explain your goal. What is the code supposed to do? Don't assume the AI knows. This code is supposed to ask for the user's name and then print a greeting. A. I expect this function to take a list of numbers and return the largest number in the list. If the code is producing the wrong output instead of crashing, you should also explain what the incorrect output is. The final step is to ask your question clearly. Put it all together. A good prompt structure is context code error goal question. All right, let's look at a real example. Imagine you are a beginner learning Python. You write a small program to calculate the total cost of items in a shopping cart. Here is your code, but uh, it has a bug in it. Can you spot it? It's totally okay if you can't. That's what the AI is for. So the code tries to add up the prices of several items. It has a list of prices. It's supposed to loop through them, adding each one to a running total. Finally, it should print the final total cost for all the items in the shopping cart. DEF calculate total prices. Total equals sign zero for price and prices. Total equals sign price return. Total cart equals sign 10, 20, 30, 45. Final underscore cost equals sign calculate total cart. Print. The final cost is plus final underscore cost. Now, when you run this code, it doesn't work. Instead of printing the total, your program crashes. It shows you a long and confusing error message on the screen. The last line of the error looks something like this. Type error can only concatenate str, not int, to str. As a beginner, you might have no idea what concatenate or type error means. This is a perfect time to ask an AI for help. You open up your favorite AI tool. You write a prompt following the steps from the last section. Hi, I'm new to Python. I wrote this code to calculate the total of a shopping cart, but it's giving me an error. Can you help me find the bug and explain what's wrong in simple terms? Here is my code. Paste your code here. And here is the error message. Type error can only concatenate str, not int, to str. This is a perfect prompt. The AI would tell you that there are actually two bugs in your code. The first bug is in the calculate underscore total function. The line total equal sign price should be total equal sign total plus price or use total plus equal sign price. Your code was just overwriting the total with the last price, not adding them up. The second bug is in your print statement. The plus sign is trying to add a string to a number, which causes the type error. The AI would suggest you change it to print. The final cost is final underscore cost or use an F string print F the final cost is final underscore cost. The AI would then explain both fixes in simple language, turning your confusion into a solid learning moment. Writing a good prompt is a skill, and honestly, the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. A key tip is to always be specific. Vague prompts lead to vague answers. So instead of saying, my code doesn't work, try to be more precise. You could say, my Python code for sorting a list of numbers is not sorting them correctly. It seems to be missing some numbers from the final list. This level of detail helps the AI narrow down the possible causes much more effectively. Always assume the AI knows nothing about your project until you tell it. Another powerful technique is to tell the AI what you have already tried. This saves you time and prevents the AI from suggesting solutions that you know don't work. For example, I've already tried restarting the program and checking for simple typos in the variable names, but that did not fix the issue. This shows the AI that you have already done some basic troubleshooting. It allows the AI to skip the simple suggestions and focus on more complex potential problems. Don't be afraid to have a conversation with the AI. Your first prompt doesn't have to be your last. If the AI's first answer isn't helpful, just ask for clarification. I don't understand what you mean by scope. Can you explain that concept with a simpler example? If the AI suggests a fix that doesn't work, tell it that. I tried your suggestion, but now I'm getting a new error message. Here is the new error. Paste new error. This back and forth process is often how you get to the best solution. Finally, set the persona of the AI. You can tell the AI to act like a specific kind of expert. 
and this can change the style and depth of its answer. For example, act as a senior Python developer who is an expert in debugging. This tells the AI to give you a more technical and in-depth answer. Or, explain this to me like I'm a complete beginner to programming. This tells the AI to use simple language, avoid jargon, and provide foundational explanations. Tailoring the AI's persona helps you get the exact kind of help you need. Let me tell you about a time AI saved me from a real headache. I was working on a small web application. It had a feature where users could upload a profile picture. On my computer, everything worked perfectly. But when I put the code on the web server, the upload started failing for some users. There were no error messages in my code's logs. I spent a whole afternoon trying to figure it out. I checked file permission server settings, network configurations. I was completely stuck and getting very frustrated. Finally, I decided to ask an AI for help. I wrote a detailed prompt. I described the entire situation. I explained that it worked on my local machine but failed on the server. I listed all the things I had already checked. I even described the server's operating system. The AI thought for a moment and came back with a surprising suggestion. It asked if the file names contained any special characters. It asked if the file names contained spaces. It explained that different operating systems handle file names differently. My computer, which is a Mac, was fine with spaces, but the server, a Linux machine, might be having trouble. I had a light bulb moment. I asked a user whose upload had failed to tell me their file name. Sure enough, it was my profile picture.jpg. It had spaces in it. The AI suggested a simple fix. It gave me a few lines of Python code to add to my program. This code would automatically replace any spaces in an uploaded file name with underscores before saving the file. So my profile picture.jpg would become my underscore profile underscore picture.jpg. This simple change solved the problem completely. It was a bug I might have spent days trying to find on my own. You might think these AI tools must be expensive, but many excellent options are available for free. Start using them right now for your coding projects. ChatGPT by OpenAI, free version is powerful. Microsoft Copilot, formerly Bing Chat. Copilot can access the internet. Google Gemini, previously barred. Getting started is easy, no installs. You can have a powerful debugging assistant ready in minutes. We have covered a lot of ground today. Your next step is simple, try it. Don't be afraid of bugs. See them as puzzles waiting to be solved. And now you have a new superpower in your